Hey, if you're enjoying our content, please take a moment now and subscribe and like. So we're changing battery plugs uh, to a, uh, a lithium plug. If you do have to change plugs on your bike, normally you get a wire like that. If you got two of those, you're good, or you get one of these little furry fuzzy guys. So it's really hard to get those together to get a nice connection like this that a piece of shrink tube will go over. So if you can solder, I just put those together, split them into a Y, put them together, and twist them so they're a nice barrel shape. And then if you got an old piece of speaker wire or whatever, take a couple of strands out of that and just <clears throat> and wrap it really tight. This is what I call my Eastern Union splice. Any sparkies out there will get that one. Yeah, I don't get it at all. So, so this keeps <laughs> everything all in place. And I actually had a dude tell me that this is going to add resistance because of the coil. I'm not even going to justify that with an answer. You don't really want to touch those two. Well, there's nothing on it right now. So. Oh, because the brick is off. So, yeah. so just wrap them all up like that. Make sure that you put your shrink tube on before you do that. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Right? Yeah. Right, and Darren, you should turn the breaker off before you do any of this, right? Well, yeah, you got the, the battery's up right out of the bike right now, so. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I am off, but. <laughs> so you see now, what you've got there is you got, your connection is no bigger than it was before, so everything's held in there tight. That's one beautiful wrap. And then when you solder it, you always heat your wire, never melt, melt your solder with your, with your flame, just. And a whole bunch of solder till it starts dripping out the bottom. Otherwise, you only get around half of it. You see it start to drip out the bottom any second there. So it's dripping out the bottom. Just give it a little bump to knock off the excess. Let it cool. And then put your shrink wrap on. Do you want to show how you do the shrink wrap? Or do we have to let it cool first? Uh, yeah, it's got to cool down first. Because uh, we should just, we'll pause that and then just show you how to do the shrink wrap. Because why not? We're wearing a really nice sweater today. <laughs> my fashion statement no those are really back in style all right so on the main wires this is actually double wall shrink tubing but i double shrink tube it anyway what because that was my torch so do your shrink tube just a little further just stay away. back yeah and you can just watch it shrink up there get all around on it Because a lot of people let, use a soldering gun that you use just to. Or you can use a you can use a bic lighter to do to do the shrink yeah, tubing. Yeah. It just takes a long time. No, but your your soldering you do with. Only the big only the big stuff. On the small stuff, I always use a an, a, an iron or a, okay, or a gun. So, I got another two pieces of shrink tubing here ready to go to double over that. They're a little bit longer, so they cover the ends as well. But these, if you start to slide that up when they're hot, it'll get stuck halfway, and then it's. Yeah, so, just so you just let it cool and do the same thing over again. But that's the kind of extra stuff that you do. And the other thing that Darren does is he zip ties it all beautifully so that this Anderson connector is tight on the bike and not just hanging around um, and, and, and bouncing around. And it always gets uh, wire loom as well. It's just, always just to, just to protect it some more. So if you got, you can get wire loom anywhere. You can buy it in small bags, Canadian Tire, any hardware store. I'm gonna put this on. We'll have to take it off and do the shrink tubing again. But yeah, so it's just just it's slide that on like that. And then if you get something bashing and crashing around in there, it's not gonna. It doesn't cut the wire. It, it hits the, the loom first. Just like extra steps, but it's, it's really beautiful. Bike. If you're buying wire loom, split loom. Don't buy regular wire loom. Because then you got to cut it yourself. Well, and you got to thread it on before you start. Oh, or that too. Thanks for watching. Yeah.